the HydroPro is a rugged soil moisture sensor with patented technology. This video provides an insight into how the HydroProbe can be installed. The HydroProbe can be installed in different depths of the soil to measure soil temperature, moisture and if you want salinity. Drill a hole of diameter 6 cm with the Edelman auger. The Edelman auger is a part of the set. The resulting borehole is pointed and needs to be flattened using the special auger for hydroprobe. The hydroprobe can be fitted inside the HDPE pipe with the black PVC adapter. Now you can push the sensor into the soil. However, if the soil is hard, you can use the grey PVC head to hammer it in. If necessary, the HDPE pipes can be extended to the desired depths. The first option is a profile pit with a straight wall. The sensor is installed horizontally into the wall. The second option is like the first option. However, in this one, a horizontal hole is drilled and the sensor is placed deeper into the hole. In the first option, the sensor is inserted horizontally in the wall of the profile pit. The connector and the body of the sensor are then exposed. While filling up the pit, try to prevent movement of the sensor. Movement of the sensor will create air pockets around the pins. This will result in inaccurate measurements. During filling up, the soil under the sensor needs to be compacted. Option 2 is similar to option 1. In this option, we drill a hole horizontally in the wall. This prevents the movement of the sensor during filling up. In this case, no components of the sensor are exposed. The third option is a straight drilled borehole with the sensor installed at the bottom. In the fourth option, the borehole is drilled at an angle of about 45 degrees. In the third option, drill a straight borehole with a diameter of 6 cm till the desired depth. Flatten the bottom with the special auger. Use the HDPE pipe with the black PVC adapter to install the sensor. The borehole is first filled with a little bit of soil. Afterwards, you can make the hole watertight with bentonite pellets. Now, we have two possibilities. We can leave the sensor for long time monitoring or we can remove the sensor for spot measurements. Option 4 is similar to option 3. In this case, the borehole is made at an angle of about 45 degrees. To prevent influences of the surface runoff into the borehole, bentonite is used. Now, we have completed installing the hydroprobe. We have three possibilities to collect the data. We can connect the hydroprobe to a handheld meter and read the data out at the location. For long time monitoring, we can also connect it to a data logger. You can also access the data at any place through a web portal once the hydroprobe is connected to a GDTS Prime Plus. In the web portal, the data of maximum nine parameters from the hydroprobe can be accessed.